A Beautiful Life, September 20th, 2014. Action! Beautiful morning that turns into a beautiful evening And together make a beautiful life And if you want to see, then come along with me, that's right Good morning. What a day it has been so far. I was woken up this morning to a service call and then I thought I was going to have to drive to the service call and I fixed the problem from the house and it's been a crazy morning. But now we are on our way to McDonald's to get some pancakes. Are you ready to get some pancakes? You are so camera shy. Lexi's not. Are you ready to get some pancakes? Where are your pancakes go? So we're in Kroger doing a little grocery shopping and Brandon found us some Star Wars characters that he wants to get. So now we gotta go hunt for something uh, for Lexi to get too. What do you think Lexi, what are we getting? Crystal finds a pinwheel that she wants to see how much it is and price check it, but when she went to price check it, she was doing an awfully funny little dance trying to get the price check machine to work. <laughs> so right now I am just doing a little bit of editing and a whole lot of paperwork. But while I am doing a lot of paperwork and stuff, something that makes it go by a lot quicker is a little music in my ears. And I've been listening to the new album, Songs of Innocence, that was actually released the day that the iPhone 6 was announced. I'm not a big U2 fan, but I really like the song, The Miracle, or The Miracle of Joey Ramone. It's a pretty, pretty killer song. The guitar riff in that is awesome, and it really made for a great Apple ad. If you want to check that out and you have an iTunes account, you can download it for free. If you don't have an iTunes account, just make one. Download the album and then move on. I'm also getting ready for tonight. I've got cameras packed up, batteries charged. I'm really loving this new iPhone 6 Plus. The camera on it's great. I love the ability to have continuous autofocus. My DSLR can't even do that. This is the Samsung Galaxy S3. This is my company phone and it is, well, it feels small now in comparison to my iPhone 6 Plus and that is no easy feat. This was a massive phone when it came out and still by today's standards a pretty decent sized phone. All right, all packed up and ready to go. Got my camera case, a couple tripods, my tie, a bag with just some random stuff in it. And I got my laptop in the passenger seat plugged into a power inverter to power it going down the road. It's still rendering to yesterday's vlog. My very first vlog took me a lot longer to get up than I expected. I just got done shooting the event for VIP and now I'm at my favorite place to just sit down, put headphones in, sip on some sweet tea and write the article, McDonald's. Typically the way a VIP event works is I go in and I take a picture of two to six people at a time. When I get all their names, I use my iPhone or my iPad to just type them into a document so that later I can just copy that, paste it into the document I need to send to VIP. The problem tonight is I have an iPhone 6 Plus, a brand new big giant iPhone. Everybody was wanting to play with it and look at it. Next thing you know, the event was starting and it was time for me to leave and I'd only got like six, eight pictures. <laughs> Hopefully my editor will understand. All right, time to go set up and record some comedians. This is always the funniest, I mean funnest job. The comedy show just ended and it was hilarious as usual. I'm all packed up and ready to go home to convert footage and get started editing. I just found out something that my Galaxy S3 can do that my iPhone can't fit in my cup holder. Just got home from the comedy club. It's about 1 a.m. I've got some files converting on my computer, so I'm just enjoying a little midnight snack. I got some Tostino's scoop chips and some salsa and some propel water. And that's my iPhone 5 back there in the background. So while my computer is converting footage, I can't really do much on it. I can't edit on it. So I need to edit today's vlog. And I think what I'm gonna try to do is actually use the iPhone 6 Plus itself to edit the vlog. I've been recording with it all day long and man, I can't wait to see the footage played back. The iPhone 5 did a really good job on yesterday's vlog and I was really impressed with the way the iPhone 5 looked after I got it all done and exported and uploaded and everything. I was surprised at how well, how on par it was with my Canon DSLRs. Of course, I mean, they have bigger lenses and wider apertures and things like that. This, this The iPhone 6 actually has a f2.2 aperture which is a lower aperture than any of my lenses in my case i can't wait to see what this iphone 6 video looks like and i'm actually going to try to edit the video on the iphone 6 plus with imovie because my computer is converting footage right now so i'm going to give it a shot and see what it see how it works out 
but I'll do that tomorrow. It's about 4 a.m. on Sunday morning. I'm going to bed. Good night.